All right, YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would take a sneak peek at the pan-European Swedish Tier 3 destroyer, the Romulus. Now, the Romulus is still currently a work in progress. All stats and statistics will probably change before it hits the live server. So, what do you need to know about the Romulus? Well, it doesn't like the Federation. No, it doesn't have smoke. That's what it is. Yes, as you probably already know, the Pan-European destroyer line does not have smoke. But unlike the Tier 2 Tetra, which has the worst detection of all the Tier 2 destroyers, the Romulus's detection is actually pretty good. It also has a 6 kilometer detection, but at Tier 3, that's one of the better detection ranges. So, yeah, that it's got that going for it. The Romulus also has pretty good guns. It has 3x1 120 millimeter Bofors, which are pretty good at this tier. So we're going to take a quick look at its modifications, its upgrades, its ammunition and consumables, and the ship's captain, as all these will affect the stats to come. So there are three modifications that you can do with the Romulus. Um, when you first get the ship, it's going to have 100 millimeter guns and you can upgrade those to 120 millimeters. Uh, there is a hull upgrade which will take you from 6800 to 7700 and a gun fire control system upgrade that will take you from a firing range of 8.6 kilometers to 9.5 kilometers. Ammunition and consumables. It comes with HE and AP along with torpedoes. Consumables, slot number one, damage control party, and slot number two, engine boost. You get two slots for upgrades. The first slot I took main armaments modification number one, and the second slot I tried the engine room protection to see if that helped any. I really couldn't tell that it made that much of a difference. And if you're going to be taking um, last stand, you might as well switch it. But anyway, I left it on there. So there it is. For the exterior camouflage, we currently have on Regina Marina as the camouflage. These are the signals that we have mounted. We do have Sierra Mike, so remember that is plus 5% to the ship's maximum speed. Flags. We are flying the community contributor flag as well as the flag of Sweden. I have a 19 point commander on this ship, but I'm only using 10 of the 19 points. And this is how I have them distributed. Tier 1 skill, priority target. Tier 2 skill, last stand. Tier 3, torpedo armament expertise. And Tier 4, concealment expert. So, as the ship sits right now, these are the stats. Concealment, detectability range by sea, 5.4 kilometers, and by air, 1.4. Maneuverability with Sierra Mike, maximum speed 35.7 knots, turning circle radius 40, 440 meters with a rudder shift of 2.1 seconds. It has an AA defense score of 13, 2 times 1, 40 millimeters. Torpedoes. It gets 1 times 2 right here and one times four, 450 millimeter torpedoes. Reload time, 36 seconds. Um, they fire out to eight kilometers at a speed of 55 knots. 
and they do 5,100 damage and their detectability range is 1.2 kilometers. Artillery. The way it sits right now, 3 times 1, 120 millimeters reload time, 5.5 seconds, turret traverse, 18 seconds for 180 degrees, maximum dispersion, 86 meters, maximum HE shell damage, 1,700, maximum AP shell damage, 2,000, and they're firing out to 9.5 kilometers. Survivability, 7,700 hit points. Armor layout, 6 millimeters, pretty much, yeah, the entire ship is 6 millimeters, so there is no armor, really. So, here it is. This is the Tier 3 Romulus. It is a work in progress. Why don't we see it in battle? Here we go. Okay, so one other DD, a wakeful. His survivability, artillery, and torpedoes look better than mine according to that little comparison there. There's one aircraft carrier. I do have a little bit better detection than he does though. So, yeah. Oh, we have a second DD. That gives us an advantage. Battle starts. Two DDs to one. So, I guess I'll head on over toward A. Engine boost activated. Clemson will probably go to B or C. Hoping he'll go C. Uh, the Clemson is actually pointing in this direction. Where's he going? Okay, so if you have a two to one destroyer advantage and both of you, both destroyers go to the same cap, you're not exploiting your advantage. That's just my opinion. I don't know why the Clemson, maybe he's going around the island and gonna get B. I don't know what's happening. But anyway, You got the wakeful up here. Sorry I'm yawning, it's late. That's when I get a chance to play and record. There he is. Belts is in firing range if I want to get in a gunfight with this Wakefield. Wakefield. Engine boost deactivated. I, think I said Wakefield, but anyway, tired. Come on, it would just be nice. He's sitting right there. He's still in the cap. Missed him. Oh, now I'm detected. All right. Three rounds down range. He's got to be torping me. Bad shots. We got smoke again already. I 
I've got torpedoes in him already. And he didn't even stay in his smoke. Which was probably pretty good. break off the attack I'm getting shot at it's that Kohlberg over there lofting those bombs at me Alright, let's push back into this cap again. The Wakeful is here again. The Charleston and the Kohlberg, so... I think I am gonna hold off on firing my guns. Let's see if maybe my torpedoes can hit something. Engine boost activated. Just too many ships. And I don't have smoke, so... If I fired, I probably would not have survived it. But he's looking kind of low. I might risk it. Come on. Got a hit. Got two people targeting me. And I wanted to throw some torps up in here, but this Kuma is on a suicide mission. What does he think he's doing? Destroyer. Just barely nicked him. Enemy destroyer foundered. Somebody took a torpedo hit. Engine boost deactivated. Our team has taken the lead. Looks like I'm the only destroyer left in the game. Other destroyer got taken out. That would be nice. Have all those hit that Mahogi. None of them. One. One of them. Man. So the red team has capped A. Let's 
Still got the St. Louis here. Come on. It's nice to be able to have two sets of torpedoes in the water at the same time. Ooh, these might be looking pretty good. Yes. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. Watch out for this Charleston. Maybe he'll keep poking his self out from around that corner. But he's not actually in the cap, so I am able to work on capping the A point. I don't know if he's going to come out and contest it or not. None of those got in. Absolutely none. Our team has taken the lead. He's getting too close to detecting me. And he's actually in the cap. Is he going to pull forward? Yep. Engine boost activated. All right. Maybe we'll make a suicide run on him. Oh, he took a big hit from the Kawachi. Finish him off the guns. Ah, torpedo guy. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Our victory is in sight. Okay, so we have aircraft carrier. And my Ogie. Maybe I might throw a set of torpedoes at this aircraft carrier if he's not paying attention. Because it looks like he might be coming in range. Moving. Our victory is in sight. I'll be reloaded again before I get anywhere close to the Myogi, so. Engine boost deactivated. I'm thinking the aircraft carrier should definitely spot those torpedoes, unless he was already out flying. Nope, missed him. Close only counts in hand grenades and horseshoes. But if this Myogi keeps coming along this same course, 
Torpedoes to port. Where? Detected. If he's aiming at the Langley, we'll be good. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Okay. Here we go. Sir. All right, nine hundred and twenty nine points. I do not think we're going to get anywhere close to that carrier, but we did all right. Oh, there he is. Battle ends in five minutes. Yep, 992, 995, that's it. Stick a fork in it, it's done. All right, let's see what we did. We did 148,000 credits, 4,200 XP with 452 free XP, 44,000 damage, 21 target hits, 11 torpedo hits, two incapacitations, destroyed four ships, set one fire, caused flooding six times, defended the base seven times, captured one base, and spotted one ship. Team score. Came in first place on the team. Detailed report. 20,000 to the St. Louis, 12 to the Miyogi, 6 to the Wakeful, 2,000 to the Charleston. So, yeah. The Romulus. I had a much better time with this ship than I did the Tier 2 uh, Tetra. Um, you get your 120 millimeter Bofors. You are going to have those for the rest of the line, and they're actually pretty good guns. You combine those with decent torpedoes, and you have a pretty good ship. If you've liked this look at the Romulus, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.